So, what is the next step in an investigation, detectives? Well, the so, first we've got one mayor in office who we're really suspicious of. Yeah, but that doesn't, but have, that anything doesn't have, have anything your, to do with this. Yeah. And we've got another mayor who didn't make the cut who's involved in this situation. Uh, yeah. I don't know what would connect A and B there, but it gives me a bad feeling. But before we can get into any of that, i got to go talk to my client. Yeah, we should talk and to your client. And that's going to be... We should also speak to... That's going to be rough. The, the surviving members of the club. Maybe we can get some fresh leads from them. Well, I mean, the only person no, that, we gotta talk to that them wasn't tomorrow, there yeah. was Mueller and that Hannah person, right? Yeah. yeah. Unless we unless we want to get all gung ho and start ringing people up at this hour of night. Yeah. No, we can. Do people, that. Most people don't re- respond well we can to that. Do that during the day. If we if we come up with concrete grounds to think that they're scumbags, I'm kind of into it, but. Like I said, we can do that during the day, and at the very least, I think they should be warned. That way, if need be, they can get under some kind of protection, go into hiding, or whatever they want to do. Or at least stay out of the damn woods. Yeah, of course, stay out of the fucking woods. Yeah, well, we'll talk to both of them tomorrow. We'll have time to do that. And hopefully we can talk to them before the police do, and... Yeah, hopefully we can find out some more information. Because hmm. it would be nice to crack the case and... Uh, well, we we cracked the case, per se, but... Well, if we can but find... But that's... That, but that... If we can find... But the, the whys I'm still interested the in. The whys and the individuals that actually did it. I mean, that, that would be a nice... Feather in both of our hats to uh, so officially solve the case. Mm. This case when uh, Portland yeah, or, could not. Yeah, or that uh, that fake ass bitch Gilbert is just gonna cuff us because obviously we did it and we embarrassed her. Mm. Yeah, who gives a fuck about her? Well, I do if she hauls us in. She she doesn't care. She's just that. Mm. She's just looking for a pretext to slap somebody. Mm. All right. Because I have to move this along because it's getting late. Mm. <laughs> Do you guys want to continue going or? In in character wise, I'm talking I'm talking to one other person tonight unless I hear something different. Okay. Going. Um. I'm cool if everybody's cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm trying to keep... And then if you want a cut point at that point. Okay. Who, who are you trying to talk to? I got to go talk to my client. Okay. You want to talk to your client? Yep. Um, tell me how you plan on doing that. Because we're going to say it's probably about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. Very reluctantly, but I've got to, but I'm going to go to his house. Okay. Actually, no, I'm going to scan where his car is. It, at, by this point in time, he's probably at home. Okay. History. Did he just like go to the nursery, go home? He went from the coffee house mm-hmm. to his uh, to the nursery, and then around three, he left and got like a drive-through lunch kind of thing, and then he came back. And then around seven, he went home. Cool. Alrighty. So ba- ba- I've seen I've seen what these things look like. It's actually an yeah. app that shows you like the blue line of travel. And like, yeah, yeah, he he started he started at the coffee house, yep. nursery, yep. Yep. Otali's nursery, <laughs> home. Yeah, home. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to his house. Okay. Hmm. How long are you sitting in his driveway? (sighs) 
before it gets creepy? Four minutes, apparently. Okay. Which is about two minutes before he would have noticed that you were there. Oh, cool. I gotta get out and do this. Mm -hmm. Also, do you collect your GPS tracker on the way up? On the way up. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what I figured. I, I'm just making sure. Ethics. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. He will come to the door after you ring the doorbell. He goes, uh, he just, he looks at you with knowing dread on his face. I'm very sorry, sir. And he starts crying right there and falls to the ground. Just starts crying. I'm bring him in there, man. I'm yeah. not going to let him fall down. Give him the... I'm not even going to make you roll to catch him. You catch him. As soon as he starts crying, um, a man, a woman, and a teenage girl um, hear him crying, and they all rush over. Um, maybe you crying, and maybe you'd support. like to help him take a seat. They carry him into the living room, and they turn off whatever they were watching. There is a ridiculous numbers of incredibly happy photos in this living room and a remarkable amount of plants. We have therapy dogs. Yeah. Willow's good at that. Alright. This is the hardest part of this job and I'm very sad to have to provide you with this information, but with the assistance of my associates, we were able to locate your... There's a lot of back and forth of, he doesn't need to hear this, tell us, and he's like, no, no, I need to know. And it, there, there's arguments happening between the family, but eventually they let you go on. I was able to locate your family member. Unfortunately, um, she will not be returning to you tonight. Um, this is now a homicide inquiry. Yeah, the a, a whole new round of crying and sobbing. The Portland police are involved. Uh, if you don't have something convenient to take down the case number, I'm just going to write it on my pad. Mm -hmm. And and detective, what's her? Gilbert, you know, Maya Gilbert. Um, this is the relevant information. He tries his best to handle this, and his brother ends up having to do most of it. I am currently privy to some of the details of the condition. I don't know whether those are something that you would like to hear they are a little bit more disturbing than you might be ready for at this time. There will be a written report. His brother, to you. his brother says, do you have to do some type of report? Yes. Can we get a copy of the report? If... <clears throat> like Mr. So we can read the details. Mr. Bates like. will receive the report. Uh, he, if he chooses to authorize verbally or uh, at this time, I can ad add other persons to the list of those no. receiving the report, or he can choose to share it. Like Harold can get the report. I mean, I mean, instead of hearing it, can he read it too? That's what I'm suggesting. Is it may be easier in written form for you rather than dealing with the details at this time. They just, they want the written. Okay. I'll have that sent to uh, Mr. Bates by the morning. They just go straight to consoling. And then I'm very he's trying to fight out of them. They're trying to hug him. They're trying to make him feel better. 
and he's trying to fight out of them. He's I have I have to plan. I have things I have to do. There's there's things that need to be done. I need to get her well. I need to do I need to do all that. Uh, I need to get everything ready for. Her. Uh, Mr. Bates, I've seen this. I gotta order the flowers. I've seen this um, sort of thing before. Um, the impulse towards activity. You might find that spending time with your loved ones is better off at this time of night. Most of the businesses that you're wishing to contact are not going to be able to do anything for you. I suggest that you spend the time with your loved ones and take up these activities in the morning. He's at this point just at his... He's got like one of those breakfast bars and he's just frantically writing things down. I'm going to get up and take my hat. As I've said, I'll have the report tendered by by 8 a.m. At this point, no one is listening to what you're saying. And yeah. Cool. I'm getting the fuck out of there. This is fucking grim. Yeah. Um... This, I think, is where we should probably stop, since mm. it's approaching one thirty. Yeah. Um, and that ends the day chronologically. That ends the day chronologically, and that technically is still just the end of Act 1. Yep. <laughs> we didn't really get Fuck. into okay. Act 2, uh, which is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Um, we can continue on with this on the next Rift. Ah, uh, yeah, that's want. probably the way to do it. Um, if you want every time that they're not here, we can pick up Werewolf. Yeah, that's prob- um, yeah, that's probably how, how to do this, huh? So, what did everybody think about this? We are currently running the Werewolf opening story from the core book called No Matter How Small. And it is a gripping story. I feel like Philip is turning into a character... I think you you really latched onto this pretty strong, which was interesting. Really, like every single character you have played so far hasn't been Cons- like, as active as this one. Considering that uh, I came in with a sheet that starts with a joke at the top, um, I'm surprised that yeah. this is one of my. Do you, do you want to tell everybody? Uh, want to guess Philip's last name? Mm. Anybody? Dirt. Philip Ledux. Uh, Phil Ledux. It's Philodox. Philodox. The Philodox. He's French, yeah. so I'd actually say it would be Philodox. Philodox. He's American. Philodox. Philodox. Uh, so anyway, I'm surprised that that's a character. I, I, uh, uh, that this, gelled a lot faster This, this is a hard story. Yeah. However, it is emotionally gripping. Um, obviously, I threw some stuff into it to tie it in to thicker than water. Oh, <laughs> Monroe, Monroe, Mason. Yeah. Mason, Mason. And Mason. I heard Mason. I'm like, oh god, no Mason. <laughs> and then, and then you've got this cookie cutter cop, and I'm like, mm-mm-mm. oh mask, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. He looks like he fits in. So this storyline is happening in the background of Vampire the Masquerade of our of our thicker than water storyline. Um, not having a humanity meter, I'm over here like actually acting more like I have one than I ever have in yeah. the past. Well, I and, mean, I think people who play vampire are like that. Even if you're trying to be the good vampire, mm-hmm. you still understand you're eating people. There's mm-hmm. really nothing mm-hmm. you can do about that. Werewolf, I don't know what it is, but there's a subconscious. If you're actually in the story, if you're enjoying the story and trying to play your character properly, it makes you... It's a lot closer to life. You want to be... You want to try to fight past the, the bad. I yeah. feel like. And and in this, I think in W5, you really do feel that Werewolf is not fun. Werewolf it's is not. a game of personal horror. It is. It's, it's a game of personal horror. And it's... it's yeah, it's meant to be. It came it started becoming kind of a, a joke toward the end. Yeah, of, well, the storytellers for Werewolf in our area have not historically been the best people to run personal horror and spirituality. Mm. 
Oh, well, don't get me wrong. I've had some storytellers that did a wonderful job on doing that. But at the same time, it also depended on how the players were playing it all. Agreed. Too. Agreed. Um, and at the same time, I want, it was just like going to vampire games. She's such a sweetheart. You, you, you've got met her. <laughs> good vampire players and good vampire SDs, and then you have ridiculous uh, SDs yeah. that will just... What in game? What time is it when I leave there? When you leave their house, yeah. probably like pushing midnight. Okay, so that's. Um, what did you guys think of Seth? Hang on, one. I like him. Seth is the first werewolf character that I've ever actually stopped to make and put thought into. That wasn't again some kind of like joke mm-hmm. or based off of something else. Like my first character, my first werewolf ever was a Silent Strider based off an anime. I hate it when people base things off animes, but like I based him off of uh, Demon City Shinzuko's Mephisto. Really? Yeah, and his name was Mephisto, and I wore the red trench coat and everything. Like I, I played that character, the Demon Hunter. Um, but like Seth is of that's the bill. Three thousand four hundred dollars plus a trip to Denny's and one bug. Yeah. So, um, but uh, when I when I first read this and realized that I wanted to run Werewolf at some point, I wanted to bring in. I, I don't know why, but this this character Seth. I did not have him named until I sat at the table tonight. But the idea for this character was you said two percent flourishing mm-hmm. as I read about bucks. it. So, so what are you guys? A meal. Uh, get, yeah. What do you, you guys get a um, out of it? Uh, like thought, thoughts on Seth, so, just so I can get your opinion. Like any idea what the hell's going on with this guy? I want to say it's like a, a little bit more active version of Harker, in my opinion. Really? Does he have yeah. kidney disease? Does he have kidney disease? Yeah. I'll tell you out of character if you if you want to know. He seems like he's got it, something going on health wise. He's Wolfborn. Okay. He's Wolfborn, mm-hmm. and he's about 18 ah, years old. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. Yeah, that's old yeah. for a puppy. Yeah, he's not yeah. doing well. Wolfborn is a possibility in this book. They just don't suggest it. Um, I have oh. not really considered... I can shift into Krenos' form, and I might be able to fist fight a regular human. <laughs> I have not really considered what tribe Seth belongs to yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but he is a Galliard. He's a person who needs to tell the story of the werewolves and uh, explain yeah, that it makes, to the new. That makes a lot of sense. He kind of reminds me of a Bonar. He might be a Bonar. I haven't really decided. Oh yeah, that. I forgot about. I'm. I think I'm doing Philodox things. I mean, I, I'm. You know, oh, I think you did a great. What's Philodox. right here? Wait for the cops. Don't mess this up. Da da da. da no, I think no, you. No. I think you handled okay, that very I think I'm well. Doing that. What do you? What do you? I know. I, ha- I handled my ban. I know that. As as people who have played vampire for years, what do you guys think of werewolf so far? Like I know we haven't gotten much. It's a lot scarier. The, yeah. It's a lot scarier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like I said, uh, like we said before, like vampire is more of a political game. Mm-hmm. Werewolf, it's we just found out it was like oh. a self horror game. Well, the, Vampires uh, have the option of not giving a shit. That's true. With a werewolf, werewolf doesn't. And the way that werewolf was always supposed to be is, you're you're supposed to be Gaia's last hope. And that's a lot to have thrown on your yes, body, you man. Top. That's what you are. There's a lot of pressure there. One, one. Yeah, I get it. Real quick, I do have to ask Gwen. Yes. As somebody who has played werewolf more than any of us, what are your thoughts on fifth edition? It's not bad so far. I mean, I won't say that it's like, I won't say that it's perfect, but I'm not gonna say it's like it wasn't bad. Just like the old system was not perfect. It had a lot of flaws, and but you know, I think that this one's got it's got some character. It, it, I'm liking some of the changes. I uh, I got to get used to some of the changes. Like yeah. I'm used to dealing with rank. I'm used to dealing with like. The pure breed background and all the, all, you know, all the stuff that you normally deal with with Guru. Okay. Um, so, the, but um, overall, it's not bad so far, and I, I've enjoyed reading through it. Uh, you know, 
as I've had time. Unfortunately, when you work eight to ten hours I a day, I completely understand. It uh, becomes a rather difficult read. Um, Glenn, you're, I know, 100% new to Werewolf. Yep. Your thoughts? I'm a lot more scared about flying off the handle than I would be for a vampire. The dice system is very unforgiving. It really mm. is. Um, and I like that because it shows that the werewolf rage is ever present. If you roll a 10, if you're a vampire <laughs> and you're worried about frenzy, there's a lot of levers you can pull, starting with go eat. Yeah. Werewolves, on the other hand, you have to keep an interesting balance. You have to defuse the situation. Well, you have to keep a balance of defusing the situation and keeping your rage because you can, in fact, lose the wolf. Which means you're powerless. Yeah, you, you can't mean, shift. You can't use your powers. Yeah, you're a you human. Hit Hirano. And then there's also depression. Yeah. Hirano, which is a severe risk. Or Hogalos. Was Hogalos in the old system? No. Hogalos no, is new. Is oh, new. Okay, overconfidence, yeah. It's, an, it's, it's, it's might makes right. They it's, need that. It's I did this and it freaking worked. Damn the consequences. I'm right. And it's terrible. Hogalos. And the higher, uh, right. Well, I haven't played... W- in, in, in large... Yeah. In the old system without actually calling it that. But yeah. yeah, I was about to say, I haven't played it, but I've listened to enough stuff to know that Hogalos has been like the fucking MO for werewolves yeah. for a long time. And with War of the- Rage! Let's impurgen them! Let's wipe this out! Let's wipe yeah. this out! Why? Because... Fuck them. We know now, best. Now that we've gone through the first night, do you think that we are ready to choose, like, I think, like, we actually have to fit choose game tenants. Oh. Mm-hmm. I have some game tenants from the other one, but yeah, you get the point. Yeah. And there are, like...